I thought we played some good stuff. Um, relatively pleased with how we played first half. Disappointed, um, you know, with uh, the goal that we conceded. Uh, I think Clark has just shut his eyes at a crucial time and it's just flicked off his head. Um, you know, we've got to deal with those long throws in our box um, better. But yeah, we had a lot of the ball and we were just sort of um, wearing them down a little bit. It might be one of them games where we just sort of tired them out and you know, we had all our chances second half uh, going with the wind and um, you know the momentum we create coming this way. Um, but yeah, the sending off just kill, kills it really. Um, you know, ten minutes ago, you just get yourself back in the game, one all, and you know, everything's going for you. You got the win, second half, um, just a completely utterly rash challenge, and something we've all been doing a lot. It's not like it's last ditch. He's got plenty of bodies behind him. He's got, you know, you should be able to get enough of the ball there, Alex. Um, you know, just disappointed, disappointed in that, and then we just make it all work for ourselves, like. Um, should get back to one all and then, you know, really go and take the game to them. Um, but yeah, it just makes it hard all the time when you're playing with 10 men. You mentioned the sending off there. Do you think that was a big pivotal point in the game there? Do you think we were in control of the game before the sending off? Um, yeah, I honestly did, yeah. They was coming there 4 4 2. He was getting like Joel out on the ball quite a bit. He was getting lots of ball. Um, and, you know, they were they was working really hard, um, and I think they showed last week at Bognor as well just how much Bognor tired second half, where we had a lot of the ball first half and you know wear them out. It's, it was, it's a windy day, they had to get them through some um, work in their legs, um, so it might be one where you have to be patient for your chances to come. But um, yeah, it's a pivotal moment, and um, I think you know second half you're looking going well. We haven't really got in their half too much after about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and you're looking going and probably you will take a draw, but then the, the chances that um, present themselves to us uh, second half, I think you know the, the lads are a bit despondent in there for the second time now. We've come over draw and it feels like a defeat. Mm. Um, but we've got to we've got to start turning some of these points into into three if we're a team that wants to uh, get into the playoffs this year. You went with Callum Keeley, uh, Ollie started on the bench today, has he worked hard in training, how has he found himself in the team? Yeah, he's, he's been brilliant in training to be honest, he's almost sort of, um, you know, his, his work rate, his energy and his and his quality in training um, has just sort of, I've had to pick him uh, off the back of that and when you've got a good squad of players, um, no player can get comfortable and, and think they're starting week in week out because um, you know, there's always someone pushing you, and that's what happens in a good squad. And yeah, I thought his old up play was was excellent um, as well. Someone that's been out a long time, he held the ball up well for us, and we could then get players to come and join him first half. Um, so yeah, this obviously Ollie will be disappointed. Like, uh, only three games ago, all the praise was he was getting the match ball, getting four goals. Um, but you know, you've got to maintain them levels, and um, yeah, Callum rightly. Deserve this opportunity. Lucas and Alfie back in the squad, finding their feet. How comfortable do they look out there today? Yeah, I thought uh, Lucas made some great saves, and he, you know he's a real presence in our box. Although he come for one and missed it, uh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep coming for uh, takes the pressure off our back back players. Um, if he keeps coming for for crosses, um, and then Alfie's first start in a long time, and you know, I thought he he was excellent at times. His passing range is, is superb. He can step in. Um, he dealt with a 1v1 late on where you think his legs might go really well so I was really pleased with, with how we done um, but yeah I think they're all barely you know all under 21 that back three mm. um, showed real maturity and um, you know it, it does play well if they can keep playing together um, keep getting games under their belt you know it, it does show well and then you've got Ricky and Clarkey both teenagers in the centre of your park, so the central five players there who were getting a lot of the ball and, and doing some good stuff, you know, all sort of, there's not one of them over 22, I don't think, in that in that five there, so, um, you know, it's, it does show its naivety at the time, like with long balls in our box and stuff that we've got to deal with, um, but at, at the same time, I think there's some good performances in there. Like you say, you're getting a few more of the boys back, but also they did look like there's some tired legs out there. I think Ricky's been player of the year for me this year, but he looked tired there. He may have played a bit too much football, so yeah, it's good timing. Now. He's got a few in, back. Definitely, yeah. And training on Tuesday, you know, just 
didn't even get him to train, got him to stay away, um, get a massage and um, just prepare himself. He's a little bit burnt out at the moment and yeah, there's a couple of times tracking back, you just see his legs are just gone, he's just given everything and he's one of those players that just uh, you know, does other people's runnings at, at running at times, um, you know, just cover the ground and um, you know, something that maybe he'll learn as he sort of gets that experience, um, you know, to to let people, other people do some running and he's just got to sit in there, but, um, you know, that, that enthusiasm and, you know, his passing range at times, again, a couple of dialogues out to Jesse was, was excellent and, yeah, he's been an excellent player for us. Um, you know, I think we forget he's only 17 sometimes, okay. um, you know, but he, he's been excellent, but just felt he, he burnt out a little bit and I thought Buddy's bit of experience would just see us through um, the last bit and just be needed towards the end of the game. We invite Jude and Whitehawk here on Saturday. Uh, they're coming off of quite decent form at the moment. He's brought some players in. I think they, they got beat today, but that's a it's a real good fixture, I think, next week. Uh, yeah, very important for both sides. Yeah, it certainly is. They're, they're, you know, we can't underestimate them. Uh, it was a tough game at their place when we played them and they was on a bad run of form then. So, um, you know, they've certainly picked up. Um, Got some good good players in their squad now, um, including Ryle. Um, you know, so he's gone. Let's get some some minutes and been performing excellently um, for him. So it's it's, it's we, we know it's going to be a tough game. And um, you know, I said to the boys before the game today, if we just expect every home game to be a nine-one thriller, whatever it is, every week, mm -hmm. then you know it's. At this league, that just don't happen. Um, proved that today. They're a tough team to play against Brighton and um, White will be no different next week.